Libra, how you doing? Um, this is your daily reading. Uh, first of all, you might be stepping in your power, but feeling a bit awkward by stepping in your power. How is that weird? I don't know. Because uh, on the top of the deck, even though I had unshuffled it, well, I haven't shuffled it yet. I saw the justice. It's your card. And... Um, in your daily reading, I get the King of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Just you being defensive. Uh, you might have been through some shit in the past. You might not have the, had the prettiest past. Uh, you might be in a situation where you have to be defensive. You have to be protective. A love situation I would say or you might be looking to start something huh. that's weird that's weird I get you I get you have a lot of cards a lot of cards more than anybody uh, there might be yeah there might be a conversation that needs to be heard there's a lot to be said oh just the day you will just be having a lot to deal with you know you might have to deal with yourself you might have to deal with um, people around you but I got more cards falling out than any other. So, um, I don't know about that. That's cool. Um, one thing I might say is pay attention to details. Um, or maybe people around you might be starting to pay attention to you a bit more. And they're realizing your inner beauty. Or out, outside beauty, I would say. Uh, for your reading, overall energy, I get the Five of Swords. You finally get the victory. You finally, you finally win a battle that you know probably nobody expected you to win. You, you win. Uh, I see a sense of victory. Three, five of Swords. It's a victory, but it's a, it's a Swords victory. You know. There is a battle, there is a fight, you know. Uh, there is emotional chaos, you know. There is um, tangling, there is walking away, there is stages to this, you know. I'm not the one to engage in battle, so I, I don't see battle as the prettiest thing. But you're walking away with a victory after having to uh, fight for something. Anyway, for your reading, um, by the way, these are life battles. These are life battles. I don't know if this is. Um, that's beautiful. Um, I think in your past, you might have decided to walk away, to just follow your ideas, follow your plans. And walk away and um, just take time for yourself. You get a death card, the ten of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, and the five of swords. It's like you decided to walk away from a situation. And by walking away, it's uh, giving you that victory. It's giving you that um, 
yeah, I didn't have to put up a fight. You can see why. I didn't have to put up a fight. So uh, by me walking away, I have uh, acquired my victory. And after the death card, you get the ten of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and the uh, five of pentacles. You get this... Um, You get this abundance, starting off by abundance around you and your friends and your family, starting off by uh, really uh, happy happiness, you know, happiness experienced by all because you really, your work you did, the work you did has paid off, you know, and uh, Nine of Pentacles, it's for you taking your time and the universe blessing you with more, you know. And by that, I feel like that's where that sense of victory is coming from. Uh, you get the Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of uh, Seven of Wands. You might have been defensive in a situation. You might have had to put your guard up in a situation. You know. You, like I said, the King of Swords, they've been through some shit. So, yeah, best believe you might have to put, you might have had to put something on pause or cut something out to focus on the pentacle, uh, to focus on your finances, to focus on your, on you having fun. Yeah. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, I see um, a new opportunity coming by, a financial opportunity, an opportunity that's really oh god. Uh, the wind blew the that card. Now it's in reverse. So let's see. I know. Anyway, with the with the Ace of Pentacles, I think there is a new uh, financial abundance coming your way. You know, uh, a chance to improve your finances, a chance to work on your finances. Um, with the Seven of uh, Wands, it feels weird. It feels um, out of place. It makes you feel out of character, you know, it makes you feel like you're walking and stepping in an unknown territories, you know. Uh, it makes you feel like you have to be defensive, King of Swords too. It makes you feel like you have to, um, it makes you feel like you're gonna get hot. It makes you feel like you have to put up a fight. But really, what I'm seeing this as, it's your mental state. It's just, it's just in your head, what you, it's what you're thinking, it's the way you're thinking, you know. The way you're thinking, it feels like you're not going to get a victory in this. Because really, the, it wasn't a victory before, you know. It was like, you might be feeling like, I'm better off to walk away. I'm better off to really feel this victory by walking away. But, I just think you need to take action. You get the Knight of Swords and the Five of Wands. Knight of Swords and the five of wands you know you get this um you get this desire for you to take action and yes what's about that is the um, fool's card you know by you taking action you're really going to experience new beginnings and i think that's why you're being defensive i think that's why you're having this chaotic mind state but you really just have to take action and put what what's in your mind in the at the back of your head you know yes you know stepping in unknown territories is gonna really shake us because we don't know what to expect we don't know what to go through but that's the best part when we go by life by not having expectations that's when really we get the best out of life um what do i mean by that you get the s of cups the magician the high priestess and the six of wands this these are the easiest card to read whatever you are walking through 
It's going to be the easiest to experience. It's going to be the easiest to feel. It's going to be the easiest to enjoy. Ace of Cups, the magician. There is this love, passion, opportunity presenting itself to you. It's there for you for the taking. It's meant for you. All you have to be, just step in the magician power. Just come off from, step down from the king of swords. Step down from being defensive. Step in the magician power. Step in the mag You have all the tools you need to start this. You have all the tools to make this work. You have all the tools to bring this to life. And the opportunity is there for you. All you have to do is just step in the unknown. Get ready to feel things. Get ready to feel emotions. The fool, the fool, the fool card, they don't know what to do. You know, they don't know what to expect. They don't know if this water is shallow or narrow, but they're just playing in it, you know. At the same time, it's, it's emotions, you know. Sometimes you just don't know what's the result, you know. You just know that I'm stepping in unknown shit, but it's an opportunity for you to just shine the sun cut to really just blossom and to really increase your pentacles um with the s of cups some it's like something or somebody you have passion for uh you it could be meant for you if this is a person you guys could make a good team um there is this page of pentacles in reverse You might be holding on to something. Page of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You might be holding on to something. Uh, and by holding on to that, it makes you defensive. It makes you a bit um, closed off. Like I said, High Priestess, you just need to get in touch with yourself. Yes, I know you're stepping in new shit, but please understand yourself. Feel yourself. Just really. Get in touch with yourself. Talk to yourself. Take some time away from your friends, family, and understand you. Have a conversation with you. If, if, um, if this is a situation or a relationship you are planning to be in, if this is a... Um, whatever situation you're stepping in, all I can say is uh, take time for yourself, understand what you want, and step into that six of swords. Like I said, understand what you want, and then say what you want, or just open your arms to what you want. If this is love you want, open your arms to love after getting in touch. What do I really want from this person or from this situation? If this is um, a career with the S of Pentacles, what do I want out of this? How much, you know, I don't know. Just understand what you want. Then go ahead with it. Because as soon as you realize what you want and what you need out of it, you get the sun card and the four of pentacles. You get happiness. Happiness. You get to shine. You get to plant seeds of yourself and just leave them behind, you know. When we're happy, we make people around us happy and it makes them really want to it makes them <laughs> it makes them want to um, be happy too the sun card and the full of, uh, full of uh, cups um, there is this uh, cup that's being offered to you <laughs> I'm so deep into this video, I can't even just stop. Anyway, there's this love opportunity presenting in front of you. And uh, you might just... Uh, it's there for you for the taking. Happiness is there for you. And uh, all you have to do is experience shit. So yeah.